Welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and also with you. It's great to welcome you again this morning for our worship, for our service of Holy Communion. Before we continue with our worship, uh, first of all, uh, I hope you've all heard the good news uh, that uh, Gareth and Naomi had a baby daughter on Saturday. Uh, Felicity Susan is her name. So do continue to keep the whole family in your prayers. Also, please do continue to pray for Tony Cullingworth and Len Wilson. As far as I know, they're both still in Airedale General Hospital. So do pray for them and for their families. Today is one of the Rogation Days in the Church of England. I'll say a bit more about that a bit later on. Tomorrow, of course, is Ascension Day and I will be taking a service at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, which you'll be able to see also on Facebook and YouTube. Our opening prayer. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. So let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the collect for this week. Risen Christ, by the lakeside, you renewed your call to your disciples. Help your church to obey your command and draw the nations to the fire of your love to the glory of God the Father. Amen. The first reading comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17. Strangely, it's the same as the first reading that we had on Sunday morning. Paul in Athens. Paul stood up in front of the city council and said, I see that in every way you Athenians are very religious. For as I walked through your city and looked at the places where you worship, I found an altar on which is written, To an unknown God. That which you worship then, even though you do not know it, is what I now proclaim to you. God, who made the world and everything in it, is Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples made by human hands. Nor does he need anything that we can supply by working for him, since it is he himself who gives life and breath and everything else to everyone. From one human being he created all races on earth and made them live throughout the whole earth. He himself fixed beforehand the exact times and the limits of the places where they would live throughout the whole earth. He did this 
so that people would look for him and perhaps find him as they felt about for him. Yet God is actually not far from any one of us. As someone has said, in him we live and move and exist. It is, as some of your poets have said, we too are his children. Since we are God's children, we should not submit that, suppose that his nature is anything like an image of gold or silver or stone shaped by human art and skill. God has overlooked the times when people did not know him, but now he commands all of them everywhere to turn away from their evil ways. For he has fixed a day in which he will judge the whole world with justice by means of a man he has chosen. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising that man from death. When they heard Paul speak about a raising from death, some of them made fun of him. But others said, we want to hear you speak about this again. And so Paul left the meeting. Some men joined him and believed, among whom was Dionysius, a member of the council. There was also a woman named Damaris and some other people. After this, Paul left Athens and went on to Corinth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel reading comes from John chapter 16, in which Jesus talks about the coming of the Holy Spirit. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I have much more to tell you, but now it would be too much for you to bear. When, however, the Spirit comes, who reveals the truth about God, he will lead you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own authority, but he will speak of what he hears and will tell you of things to come. He will give me glory because he will take what I say and tell it to you. All that my father has is mine. That is why I said that the spirit will take what I give him and tell it to you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Today, as I said a few moments ago, is one of the rogation days when the church has traditionally offered prayer for God's blessings on the fruits of the earth and the labours of those who produce our food. The word rogation comes from the Latin word rogari, to ask. Historically, the rogation days, the three days before Ascension Day, were a period of fasting and abstinence asking for God's blessing on the crops for a bountiful harvest. Less of us today directly derive our livelihood from the production of food, yet it is good to be reminded of our dependence upon those who do and our responsibility for the environment. Traditionally, a common feature of Rogation Days was the ceremony of beating the bounds in which a procession of parishioners, led by the minister and church wardens, would proceed around the boundary of their parish and pray for its protection in the following year. As it's no longer practical to follow exact boundaries, many services at this time of year are held that have a focus on specific elements of creation, such as livestock, fields, orchards and gardens. Today, perhaps more than for a long time, we're very conscious of our need for God's help. Our need for God's help in the coronavirus crisis, for God's inspiration and help for those scientists and medical researchers 
who are trying to provide a cure and a vaccine. God's help for our politicians and leaders who are trying to give us the best advice and the best guidance as to how we can protect our communities and ourselves. And God's help for those who work in the caring professions, in hospitals, in care homes and in the community, caring for the sick and preventing the spread of this illness. We're also conscious of the need to pray for God's help for those who are involved in this production and distribution of food and for all who work in the emergency services. So it's very appropriate that at this rogation time we pray for God's help and blessing not just upon our land and upon our crops but upon all people in need of God's help and that means actually all of us because one thing that this crisis has shown us is that none of us is in control none of us is in control of our own lives or our own destinies we need one another and we need God's help and so we come to pray to God for his help not to a stingy vengeful God who wants to punish people but to a loving God who cares for all of us and longs that we turn our prayers to him asking for what we need in faith and trusting that in his love he will be with us today and always. So let us pray and I'm going to use some of the traditional prayers of the litany for Rogation Tide. Let us pray. God the Father, Lord of creation, have mercy upon us. God the Son, through whom all things were made, have mercy upon us. God the Holy Spirit, who renews the face of the earth, have mercy upon us. Holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, creating and saving God, have mercy upon us. Remember, Lord, your mercy and your loving kindness towards us. Bless this good earth and make it fruitful. Bless our labour and give us all things needful for our daily lives. Bless the homes of this parish and all who live within them. Bless our common life and our care for our neighbour. Hear us, good Lord. For all cities, towns and villages, and for their well-being and prosperity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the rural economy and for its regeneration, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who tend the countryside and preserve its order and beauty, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For all farms, all who work them, and for the whole farming industry, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who make farming policy, and for all with authority and government, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For a blessing on our land, we pray. Hear us, good Lord. For healthy crops and abundant harvests, we pray. Hear us, good Lord. For the care and welfare of animals and for the veterinary profession, we pray. Hear us, good Lord. For the harvest of the soil and for the fruits of the earth in their seasons, we pray, hear us, good Lord. For seasonable weather, we pray, hear us, good Lord. For protection from blight, pestilence and disease, we pray, hear us, good Lord. For those engaged in agricultural and medical research, we pray, Hear us, good Lord. 
for the ministry of your church, we pray. Hear us, good Lord. For those parts of the world where harvests have failed, we pray. Hear us, good Lord. For charities, aid agencies and overseas development, we pray. Hear us, good Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray and to give more than either we desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask, but through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Now we come to the communion part of our service. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and Father, through Jesus Christ your Son. Through him you have created us in your image and made us stewards of your good creation. Through him you teach us to exult in the birds of the air, the lilies of the field, the precious and life-giving crops of the earth. Through him you free us from the slavery of sin, giving him to die upon the cross and to rise again for our salvation. Through him you begin your work of new creation, as we look for a new heaven and a new earth in which your righteousness dwells. Therefore we join with angels and archangels and give voice to every creature under heaven, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me when supper was ended he took the cup of wine again he praised you gave it to them and said drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of Christ. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. 
Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast. Alleluia! Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And now the special blessing for Rogation Tide. May God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all goodness and growth, pour his blessing upon all things created and upon you, his children, that you may use his gifts to his glory and the welfare of all peoples. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Tend the earth, care for God's good creation, and bring forth the fruits of righteousness. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Well, that brings us to the end of our communion service for today, one of the Rogation Days. Don't forget there will be a service tomorrow for Ascension Day at 10 o'clock. And can I encourage you now to go and put the kettle on, make yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, find a nice biscuit or two, and uh, think of the times of fellowship we have enjoyed in the past after the service on a Wednesday morning, and look forward to the time when we will be able to do that again. God bless. Amen.